everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the ribbed edging uh, around a blanket or around an afghan square, really any project of your choosing. Today this is the second option for the edging in the Make It Your Way crochet along. Uh, all the videos for that blanket crochet along can be found in the Make It Your Way crochet along playlist. And uh, so this is uh, the final stretch of that crochet along that we've been working on for the last six weeks. So today we're going to learn how to uh, work this edging. If you're working the edging around the Make It Your Way crochet blanket, you're going to need about 300, 350 yards of a worsted weight yarn throughout the crochet along. I've been using the Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. It's a 100% acrylic yarn and uh, you'll find a direct link to the information for that yarn in the description of this video. Also in the description, uh, you'll find a direct link for the free written instructions, which are on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. You're also going to need a six millimeter or J10 crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. You can again find all of the textured blanket squares for the crochet along here on my channel, along with other free crochet patterns and a weekly free crochet stitched tutorial. To begin round one of our ribbed edging, you're going to start anywhere on your blanket. It doesn't matter too, too much. I'm going to start here just below my first corner, just so you can see how we are going to be working in the corners as we work around. But you're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip knot anywhere along your blanket. And then chain three. Your chain three at the beginning of this round does count as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet into each stitch all the way around the edging of your blanket. Now, if you find that your joining spaces are quite wide, you can also work a double crochet into those uh, joined seams. When you come across to your corner stitch, as I am here, so this is my corner stitch, into your corner stitches you are going to work three double crochet stitches all into the same corner. You're then going to just continue across working a double crochet stitch into each stitch across to your next corner then work three in your corner and so forth all the way around. When you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of round one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. You're then going to chain one, do not turn your work. Now for rounds two and three, these are the final two rounds of your edging. You're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around the first stitch. To work a front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that first stitch from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your back post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front, around the post and out through the back again. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your back post double crochet stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way around working a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the post of your next stitch all the way around. When you come to your corner stitch you're going to work three 
post stitches around that corner stitch. If the stitch before your corner is a front post double crochet, you're going to begin by working a back post double crochet, followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the same stitch, and then a back post double crochet around the post of the same stitch. If you've ended with a back post double crochet before this corner, you're going to work the opposite. Once you've worked your three stitches, back post, front post, back post, you're then going to work a front post double crochet or whatever the opposite is from what you finished in your corner, followed by your back post. Continue all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and repeat. I've worked two rows rounds of front and back post stitches. You're welcome to switch it up and work more or less, but that's all there is to working this ribbed edging. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing all of your finished blankets very soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.